action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Jones has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's scrambling. He decides to run with it. Decides to slide. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of four on the play. That, that makes it second, second and six. six. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Taken down at the 48. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down right around the 50. Complete one of his receiver. No bolts was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Gore awaits the snap. He takes it in at the 14. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Lewis's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. He fights forward to about the 33. Makes it to the 41. That makes it 72. With the pass incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Slides down. Ooh. 
They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second and 13. Ball on the 43. He scrambles. Slides down to the ground. And now the ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. And look at the big guy go. And one of the biggest guys on the field is all alone. And a huge touchdown play. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. That'll be three and out. the sack it's now fourth and long Cleveland the return man he gets it away and this is a really nice punt Cleveland fields it at the 46 he's tackled at the 44 you know a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring but you look at the start of this game this is good old-fashioned football partner i agree with you brad i think sometimes you look at games and if it's sloppy offense that's one thing but when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game sign me up for that every time quick pass and they make the stop at the 35. very solid gain through the air I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Florida State is up by a touchdown. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. 
from the 20 yard line. It's first down. Good open field tackle. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Tackle made at the one-yard line. That's four yards on the play. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. On the run, and he's not going to get there. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense because he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Florida State up seven points. It's up, and it's puts the uprights. Jones has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Personal foul. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Oh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 39. He's on the run, and they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Now. Scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. <laughs> Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0 FSU. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And he's tackled with the 35-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll bring him down at about the 45. 
That's good for a game of 10 yards. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 42. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 49 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. That makes it first in time. Keys gets the ball, tries to get around the corner, knocked out of bounds at the 22. From the 22 yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the nine yard line. And they push him out right around the two yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. That brings him second and goal. Defense in their short yardage package. Wires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here's the pass. Broken up. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nice run there. complete he's got space to work he's knocked out of bounds around the 35 yard line Smith is the putter they get this one off and it's a beauty Cleveland takes it to 21, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. 
The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 50-yard line. That's a D of 10. That'll make it second and inches. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. First down. From the 35-yard line, first down. He's out of bounds at the 30. That brings him second and five. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's third down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He got it with a dive. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Roger, Roger. That's 22, that's 22. Hey. Run, run, run. Hey. Nice run, and he's brought down. Swings it out left to the halfback. And they make the stop at about the 41. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws them. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's how we do, Dean. That's how we do. That'll bring up third and six. Screen pass. He's got his half back. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Smith is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 27. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Slings it, and down he goes at the 36. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled at the 39. Steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Scrambles. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. From the 36-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. That'll bring up second and 12. He throws it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Kicks away, and it hits the upright. No good. We've played a half of football here. The Seminoles with a 13-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We have a two-score game at the break. No surprise so far in terms of what the scoreboard says, but maybe a little surprising for some of the players on this team who, who sort of relished in that underdog role and said, we're going to bring this team to their knees. You're going to talk like that. You got to walk that aisle, baby. You got to walk that aisle. Uh, you better back it up. And right now, they're the team that's been brought to their knees, and they better stand up a lot because it's been, it's been a bad first half, especially when you're that confident. And when you start chirping a little bit, I, I think that you put the other team on notice. The team that's favored usually, usually like to keep that bottle up inside, but they did the chirping. But right now. Their game's got to step it up big time if they want to try and pull this upset because they've dug themselves a pretty good hole. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, brought down at the 25-yard line. Florida State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Makes it. 
gets it to the 37. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Check three, check three, check three. Nice run up the middle. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. He's at the 20. And they bring him down at the 6. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Check three, check three, check three. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And he tacks on the extra point. Jones looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Florida State with a six-point lead. Makes it to the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Gets out to around the 38. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. He's taken down at the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Florida State up six. Around the 48 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. 
That'll make it third and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He fights forward to about the 36. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Gets out to around the 25. First We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He's immediately tackled. Quick throw out to the receiver. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. Florida State is up by six. Knocked out of bounds at the 14. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Big opening. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up third and four. This is the 16th play of this drive. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run, and he's taken down around the 37-yard line. Cleveland is back awaiting the punt. Fields upon at the 20, and he's tackled at the 26. First 
Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 29 yard line, second down. Scrambling around. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. So with one quarter remaining, Florida State leads 20 to 7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He fires this one. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Throws in a hurry. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. Gore to punt. Tackle at the 28-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. run there. That makes it third and three. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. At about the 49. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And now he pitches it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 46-yard line. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They're going for it on fourth down. He chucks it downfield. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. He's 
tackled at the three yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. Zings it over the middle, touchdown! He makes the PAT. Mississippi State kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Brad, with this offense having the lead, you know they're going to work some clock. You know they're probably going to be conservative. This is a good opportunity for this defense to take some chances, pin their ears back, try to get aggressive, and try to get the football back. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Florida State with a six-point lead. Nice run to the outside. So the option play works as designed, and the offense picks up a first down. Good read by the quarterback. He made a quick pitch off to the running back, and they came away with a pretty good game. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 43-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. Tackled after a decent pickup. First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Out of bounds, around the 43-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Steps out at the 40-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Just under three to go in regulation. his way to about the 28. 
The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He keeps it. That's a great tackle at the 11. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense, and at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. He makes it to the nine. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the nine. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Play 13 of the current drive. Gives it to the back. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kick is up, and they tack on three points. Jones has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left in the game. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And he hits him hard at the 28. Big time interception, and this game's over. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Two times, two times. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 23-14, Seminole. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.